Hey everybody, this is Kelly of Kelly Sex Stories. And today I'm going to be talking to you about Delicious, which was also known as London Charles. She was on uh, Flavor of Love 2 back in, I believe, 2006. She ended up winning Flavor of Love 2, which she was on there with uh, Flavor Flav. And her and Flavor Flav end up dating each other for a while. And then later on, she met another young man that was from Detroit. And he ended up, you know, going to prison for like 16 years. So I'm going to read to you uh, part of this story that was published by the Detroit News on January 21st, 2012. And it says, feds say they club tied to drug deals. It says, Detroit, two accused drug dealers indicted recently and federal court allegedly are involved in money laundering and help run the downtown nightclub envy which was raided by drug agents according to court records obtained by the detroit news the records indicate drug agents have spent almost five years investigating a large-scale drug ring and seized more than a million dollars in cash classic cars and more than a hundred and thirty thousand dollars in jewelry the haul includes a rolex watch and engagement ring belonging to alleged drug dealer orlando gordon's um, girlfriend delicious a detroit native who in 2006 won the VH1 reality show Flavor of Love 2. The show featured um, women vying for the affection of public enemy rapper Flavor Flav. Wendell Tobias of Detroit. This was a major drug trafficking organization that distributed cocaine and marijuana throughout the region. U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration spokesman Rich Eikenson said there are aspects of the investigation that are continuing. So that's all I can comment on at this point. Tobias 44, meanwhile, is at large and has not been arraigned in federal court. The investigation sheds light on the shadowy underworld of Detroit's club scene and riches that prosecutors say were generated by drug deals. It is the latest controversy to engulf envy. The nightclub and other downtown hotspots drew uh, police attention last summer following several shootings, assaults, and allegations of drug crimes, either inside or in the area. In May, Courtney Cortez Smith, a 20-year-old Wayne State University student, was shot and killed near Envy as he distributed flyers promoting a party at the club. Police have arrested two men. Envy appears shuttered and for sale sign adorned one of the walls outside the club on West Larned between Washington and Shelby recently and plywood let's see plywood covered each window before it closed envy was one of the several locations used to peddle drugs by Gordon 31 whose nickname is Hoss the Boss according to prosecutors federal officials say a West Bloomfield businessman was a frontman for envy According to a forfeiture complaint filed in federal court, investigation has established that Tobias and Gordon have used the businessman as a nominee for their illegal narcotic trafficking and money laundering. Assistant U.S. Attorney Julie Beck wrote in a court filing, Jordan and Tobias put assets in the businessman's name, she added. Tobias case, one of those assets was envy, Beck wrote. And it said here, it says, and proceeds of illegal activity, including drug crimes and money laundering, according to the complaint that requests is pending. Federal court records indicate that the probe dates to 2007 and stretches from Detroit to Southfield and the Tony suburbs of Franklin and Oakland County. The DEA investigation reached Envy on March 8th when drug agents raided the club. In the basement, agents found two safes, $6,941 dollars and a nine millimeter handgun and traces of drugs according to court records a u.s patrol canine alerted positively for the scent of narcotics on both the safes beck wrote in july in a july 15 complaint the documents chronicle an investigation that began in the fall of 2007 with a tip that the that led investigators to gordon's home in franklin where he lives with delicious and their child drug task forces Officers put the home on McKinney north of 13 Mile and West Telegraph under surveillance and searched the home's trash. In the trash, agents found a small amount of marijuana and later obtained a search warrant. The DEA searched the home in February 2008 and found $516,366 hidden inside an ottoman 
shoe boxes, and camera case under a bed and inside a computer case, according to court records. Agents also seized 28 grams of marijuana, a 9mm semi-automatic handgun, money counting machines, and... And according to court records, investigators found a suitcase on the bed in the master bedroom stuffed with $37,000 in cash and the key to a safety deposit box. It says the key led to a LaSalle bank in Detroit where agents opened the safety box. They found $100,000 worth of jewelry, timepieces, including a Rolex, a Hublot, Big Bang, and two Audemars, Pigat watches, the least expensive, which which cost $21,000. The second search of the Franklin home led to a delicious engagement ring and Rolex being seized as proceeds of the illegal drug trafficking, according to court uh, documents. Delicious, whose real name is Chandra London Davis, 34, is fighting to reclaim the jewelry from the U.S. Attorney's Office, according to court records. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. So, I'm going to have that link, um, the link to the news article, I'm going to have it linked to the bottom of the video and I'm also going to have what the DEA what they said the drug enforcement agency would I'm going to have that as well linked below so that you can also read what they had to say about this whole situation and you know basically you know I feel like this whole scenario was just a mess it was just really a hot mess and it kind of got me wondering like I wonder if Delicious knew, you know, if she knew that her fiancé uh, was selling drugs and that he was a kingpin that were a part of an organization that had at least like 16 people a part of this organization. So, yeah. So, anyways, in my next part of this video, I'm going to talk to you about what the DEA had to say. Now I'm going to read to you what was published on the DEA's website. And this was published on September 19, 2013. And it says here, suburban Detroit resident sentenced to 15 plus years in federal prison for large scale cocaine and marijuana conspiracy. Orlando Gordon admitted to selling Kilo quantity amounts of cocaine and pound quantities of marijuana to co-defendants, multiple firearms, and large sums of U.S. currency seized from Gordon and co-conspirators. September 19, 2013. Contact Public Information Officer number 313-234-4310. says, Detroit, a Franklin, Michigan resident, one of 16 individuals indicted on federal drug charges, was sentenced to 190 months in prison on September 13, 2013. United States Attorney Barbara L. McQuaid announced. McQuaid was joined. Um, McQuaid was joined in the announcement by Special Agent in Charge Robert L. Corso of the U.S. Drug Enforcement, Acting Special Agent in Charge. Daryl McCray, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, Acting Special Agent in Charge, John Robert Shuup, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and Special Agent in Charge, Eric Martinez, Internal Revenue Service, Criminal Investigation. Sentenced was Orlando Ricardo Gordon, 33, of Franklin, Michigan. Gordon pleaded guilty in March 2013 to conspiring to distribute controlled substances, and structuring a financial transaction. Gordon admitted that between approximately 2008 and May of 2012, he conspired with co-defendants and others to possess with the intent to distribute marijuana, cocaine, and crack cocaine. More specifically, Gordon admitted that he supplied his co-defendants with pound-sized quantities of marijuana and kilogram-sized quantities of cocaine for further distribution. Gordon also admitted to having another person purchase money orders in the amounts less than $3,000 to avoid reporting requirements. Co-defendants Vince Jerome Shivers, 42 of Southfield, Derek Orlando Terry, 51 of Detroit, Danta 
Shamu Parker Johnson, 34, Detroit. Darren Devon Terry, 35, of Detroit. Trenton Jordan Obon Wan Yi, 27, of Detroit. Tamiko Mel Lang Hadou, 36, of Detroit. Anthony Wayne Hall, 46, of Detroit. Antoine Jamil Harris, 32, of Detroit. Irvin Kenneth Vincent, 24, of Inkster. Daryl Darnell Daryl Easterling, 48, of Detroit. Courtney Dion Shafi. Strickland, 36, of Detroit. Benjamin Isaac Carter, 39, of Detroit. Eric Lee Ross, 34, of Sterling Heights. Alan Corey Terry, 47, of Farmington Hills. Marquita Johnson, 28, of Detroit, Michigan, have all pleaded guilty and have either been sentenced or awaiting sentencing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to read... Some of this other article called A Strange Fiancé of Delicious Sentenced to 16 Years in Federal Prison. It was published on September 16, 2013 by Brandy Victorian. And I'm going to skip down past the facts because we already know what the facts are now. But anyways, it says drugs are just one of the many issues that have plagued Delicious and Orlando's relationship in March. Delicious injured herself jumping out of a second story window trying to get away from Orlando allegedly after he assaulted her. At the time, Orlando had been identified as the estranged husband of the former Flavor of Love contestant, but the Detroit News notes Orlando as the fiancé of Delicious. After that incident, many made light of the domestic situation, saying things like, now Delicious knows how Rihanna feels, which prompted her to speak up about the incident on Hot 105.7, saying... It's crazy to be ridiculed for something that happened to me. I'm not a domestic violence victim, but I've been victimized in this circumstance. For me to be the person that has to bear the weight of all of it, I'm a survivor. I'm going to be okay. You don't want to be known as the person who is beaten or has been subjected to domestic violence, even though it is not true. I don't want to be associated with anything like that. In light of all the news it sounds like Orlando is going to be exactly where he needs to be for the next 16 years behind bars. Let's hope Delicious is able to move on and get her life back on track without this man. So so that's basically what the writer, what Brandy had to say in that article. And I will have a link below of the articles. And I also will have a link to um, Instagram, to my Instagram account. So you can check out uh, other pictures if you would like, of Delicious and her ex-fiance. Now, tell me what do you think about this whole situation? And to me, I feel, I feel personally that this was a very sad situation. He seemed like he had a really bright future ahead of him. He was a handsome man. He appeared to be really smart. I just hate that he chose to um, funnel his intelligence and his skills in an illegal operations, whereas he could have been totally legit instead and could have had a business that was not being ran with, you know, drug money. So it's really unfortunate, you know, it's really unfortunate because if he would have chose, you know, a legitimate job instead, then maybe him and Delicious would have still been together. And the child that they had together, their daughter, they would have been be able to raise their daughter together successfully and they would have probably would have been a nice and wholesome family, you know. So it's really unfortunate. But I'm glad that she did move on. Um she literally moved on. She moved away from Detroit and now she's living in the Atlanta area and she was working with Candy of Candy Coated Nights recently. I think she was a part of the uh the dungeon. Um Candy's dungeon. A series that's going around the country. I think it's going to be here in Detroit, I believe in May. And I think the tickets are like 65 bucks. But okay, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.